all right so let's talk about anonymous functions so a function which has a name is a named function but a function which does not have any name but it has the body of the function is an anonymous function so let's create two functions and differentiate between a normal function and an anonymous function so function add let's pass two numbers let's just return whether it's just dollar b pretty straightforward if we want to call this function we can simply call this echo add let's pass two parameters and 11 is the ex expected answer so now let's create an anonymous function a function as i mentioned it does not have any name so instead of a name we are we're just going to pass a parenthesis let's just pass name and then return hello name so now how i can call this function because it does not have any name right so first of all before diving into that let's just save this entirely and let's just refresh it it's giving a syntax error unexpected end of file so first of all let me solve this error this error will be solved when i pass semicolon at the end of this anonymous function if i refresh the error is now gone so why does php need a uh, semicolon for uh, this function but not for this function so even if these both are function how the uh, php syntax parser is actually uh, uh, working on it this is a function declaration because we are declaring a function and we are assigning that function a name so it's a function declaration but this does not have any name so it's a function expression and if you remember a php basics that any expression in php needs to be separated with semicolon so that's why we need a semicolon because as i mentioned this is a function expression and this is a function declaration so now let's uh let's refresh and you can see the error has gone because now expression is now followed by semicolon so now this is a valid syntax so now the question we uh, just left few seconds behind is how we can call this function so as this is an expression if you remember any expression can be assigned to a, a variable the value of that expression can be assigned to a variable so let's call this anonymous function as greet and simply if you uh, are familiar with javascript functional programming this is a kind of similar way we can call this using this variable greet and we need to pass a name because this ex accept a name now if i refresh you can see hello john comes up so even if it does not have any name which is anonymous function we can assign this function expression to a variable and we can refer that variable to call that function okay so this is an anonymous function and this is a named function again this is a function declaration because we have a name and this is a function expression which is then assigned to a variable called as greet so now can a function return a function because a function can return an expression and as i mentioned this is a function expression so can a function return a function expression you might think it's complicated right what i'm saying function expression return expression so it's actually pretty simple let's just create a function let's say function greet let's just pass name and instead of let's just returning an expression like hello name let's just return a function expression which is an anonymous function in this case by the way it's also called as closure okay and let's just return hello name even if you might think that it, it does not make any sense but yeah i mean it's still a lame example i agree but there is a very important factor which is missing in here and you will see why so let's just call this function name let's say greeting 
is equal to greet let's pass john do so now what we are doing is we are calling this greet function and it's going to return an anonymous function which we have assigned to this variable called as greetings so now as you would imagine if you want to echo this output we will use echo and dollar greetings because indeed this is this okay so now if i refresh you would expect hello john do will come up right let's see what happens hello name oh silly mistake yeah i need double quotes okay so now if i refresh i am getting undefined variable name in line 6 which is this so why this variable was undefined even if its parent function was having dollar name so here the scope comes up so a variable has three scopes as i mentioned in the one of the previous videos that it may have global scope it may have a function scope and it may have a class scope so let's talk about function scope so whenever a function is created it creates a scope which is a blank slate or a blank scope so for example if this function entire function is created the php will assign him assign it a scope which is a blank scope and then as and when we create a variable inside that function that scope will get those variables but this will be a different scope altogether but then in this case we are having a function inside the function so this scope owned by this greet function and this scope is actually owned by this anonymous function so there are two scopes and the error we are getting undefined variable name because this local scope of this function is not sharing the variable name in its scope with this anonymous function scope i will repeat again the scope of this function greet which has variable name inside it that variable dollar name is not shared with this anonymous function scope because this function has its own scope own scope and this function has its own scope and those are not mutually exclusive so we need a way to share this variable inside this anonymous function or inside this closure so how we can use the answer is simple keyword called as use and we can pass variable dollar name and if i save and then refresh again you can see hello john do comes up also we can create a variable greeting message hello and then we can use this and then simply we can use greeting message and still it's going to give the result because in this case now this the, the the local scope of this function greet which has two variables we are sharing it using use keyword with this the scope of this anonymous function using use keyword okay so now do you really need to use anonymous functions it depends on your need basically so if you if you have a function let's say counter where uh, you just create a variable let's say uh, count which calls a function let's say start counter you may pass like counter variable or starting counter and then it returns a function which actually increments the counter so you can call this let's say you can use start counter and let's say pass 5 and then you can call this counter again and again which will count this so i mean there are different ways in which you can use anonymous function but most of the times those are used in functions like array filter where you know the function uh, or let's 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 go directly to php manual which will explain this so uh let's let's uh, directly use it in here so array filter what it does array filter so it has an input okay so let's say it has an array
names and let's say John Peter yeah. okay now let's see names filter is equal to we are going to pass these names and now this requires a callback function Oops. and this function this function actually gets a parameter let's see name and let's and this make this big and now let's just return str alien length of this name is greater than let's see one two three four greater than four okay and let's just print printer names filtered okay if you can see peter and me here comes up so now what 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 this array filter is doing so basically it's a function which iterates over uh, the values of this and the iteration takes place using this callback which is an anonymous function also called as closure and then it's passing we are i mean it's passing the iterated variable to this function scope and then we are returning uh, whatever we want to return so it, if it returns true then it will have that uh, value in the filtered array or it will not but i hope you have an idea of when we actually use uh, callbacks or anonymous functions so thanks for your time and i'll see you in the next video